Imagine having money that's free from government control, safe from haircuts and decentralised. Well, there is such a thing, it's called Bitcoin. The cyber Bitcoins, which you'll never have in your wallet because it's a virtual currency. The online currency, Bitcoin, surged past 200 bucks, then it took an absolute nosedive. Is this, is this legitimate in your view? It is legitimate and it is a fascinating experiment in what it could be a brand new currency, one that knows no borders, knows no boundaries and in many cases knows no rules. While bitcoins may be rising in popularity, there are still only a handful of brick and mortar stores to spend the digital currency. But Everlounge, a bar in Midtown Manhattan, wants to change that by accepting bitcoins as payment. We thought it would be fun to see how the technology works and turn some bitcoins into a round of drinks. So we bought $50 of the digital currency and headed uptown. We're at Ever Gastro Lounge in Manhattan, where rumor has it they are accepting Bitcoins. Now, I have $50 worth of Bitcoins on my phone, and we're going to see if we can turn this into drinks. Ever Lounge started accepting Bitcoins a few weeks ago, and for owner Alex Lichtenstein, the choice was a no-brainer. You want to pay with Bitcoins, you send the Bitcoin to on the tablet that we have. It takes maybe 30 seconds. Uh, we get the dollars in our bank account the next day for a fraction of what credit card processing costs. And because it's Bitcoins, we don't have to deal with credit card fraud and chargebacks and things like that. The technology is designed to be user-friendly. The waiter just has to enter the amount of the bill in dollars, the app calculates the cost in Bitcoin, and generates a QR code. The customer then scans the code and the payment is sent. Payments to Ever are automatically transferred to dollars, so they never have to actually carry the digital currency and therefore avoid any risks in fluctuation. Do you ever use bitcoins yourself? I do. Uh, I don't use them to buy drinks at my own place, <laughs> but, um, but I'm sure as more businesses realize how easy and efficient this for them, I'll have a lot more places in the real world where I can use my bitcoins. Hearing about it was great, but we wanted to see what it was like to actually spin the bitcoins. I want to use bitcoins, is that okay? I'm going to use what? Bitcoins to pay for my drinks? Sure, okay. Okay, can I get a vodka Sprite, a Corona, and a Stella? Now we were able to turn those bitcoins into booze, but remember it did take us about four hours to figure it all out and then also try to pay. So in the future it could be a viable option, but right now you're better sticking to your ATM. I'm Jessica Minton for Ivy Times TV.